the word for the week this week is drachma. Drachma. It used to be that funny little currency you used to have to get to go to your favourite island holiday destination in the summer. Happy days. But now it looks like it's making a bit of a comeback in Europe as the Greek currency goes through the floor, looks like they have defaulted on their loans and looks like they're going to have to crash out of the euro. And we're all left wondering what the effect that that is going to be on our farm's finances, on the bank and the people that we have to deal with. If she crashes out of the euro and goes back to the drachma, Greece will go back to the comeback kid, really, of world currencies. The drachma started out in the Greek city-states around 800 BC and then it went through all those trials and troubles and turmoils of the changing political scene of the ancient world. All those ancient city-states and the regimes that have come in between, they've all done their share of harm and hurting and damaging families and businesses along the way with those changing scenes of life. The drachma is to us a bit of a testimony of the fact that, you know, sick transit gloria mundi. What it means is, thus passes this world's glory. But it's come as a bit of, be a bit of a proverb, really, for the fact that things in human society and politics and economics are changeable, to say the least. The truth is, world civilizations and regimes, they come and they go. The remaining evidence of the glory that was Babylon and Assyria and Rome even the British Empire, a host of other world powers. The remaining evidence of their glory is now to be found in a museum case. Mercifully, the pain the old people knew and probably created has gone the same way as their civilizations. As will anything else that the Greek exit from the Euro, its impact on the banks and the farms and the businesses of this country, as will that go too. Whatever we fear, about what people in power will do to us over the Greek exit as the politicians do their worst and the banks try to make up here what they've lost over there. It pays to remember, doesn't it? They're all on their way to the museum. Through all these changeable phases of life, God still sits on the throne of the universe and his way is going to outlast them all. Now here's the lasting bit. All people are like grass and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers, the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. Okay, so you may be facing questions of all sorts, whether they're related to a farm business or any other financial or other issue in your life. What difference does it make to be living those things through in God's way? Get hold of us. Don't let it rest. We'd love to answer your questions. You can get hold of us easily using the website www.ergroup, that is ygrwp.com. And really, we'd love to hear from you.